Welcome back for another episode of Dungeons and Dragons here at Node. Tonight, Nico, Dia, and Brandon comprise some of the most elite soldiers of Greywall, a human establishment. And unfortunately, it seems that a human embassy in the Orcish territory of Karkal has been taken under siege and needs the help of these heroes to save the hostages inside. It's a very intense, combat-oriented story tonight, um, so viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be mature, it's mature themes all around. This More is rated, mature than Haunted Mansion. Yeah, M. This is rated M for mature. Yeah. Mm. Boys, come into the briefing room right now. I've got a mission for you. The human embassy in the Orcish territory of Karkal was overrun by forces. The evil warlord, Kaldar al Ghul, declared war on the human forces of Greywall. Greywall, the, the, the shining beacon of goodness and hope in this world. Why would they ever do that? I don't know, probably some petty, Orcish thing. You know how petty and lowly orcs are. We know how these dirty orcs were. Not to sound a little racist, <laughs> but orcs, you know, they've just never seen, they've never been eye to eye with the humans. You're familiar with Karkal, the city of Karkal. Humans have lived there peacefully for about the last 30 years since the, the, the recently elected democratic leader uh, was in power. But ever since his assassination, Humans have, have struggled to live in Karkal, and it's come to a breaking point today. There are signs and reports of genocide and ethnic cleansing against human soldiers and human civilians in the area. So it is a very dangerous and deadly place, which is why I've called you here, since you are literally, literally, literally the best heroes we have. Inside the embassy, there are three, three trapped civilians. We have Lady Farah, who is uh, the daughter of the Duke of Greywall, and she's been trapped in there. She was originally in Karkal on a humanitarian mission. She and two of her uh, subordinates have been trapped in the embassy. She's located in a safe room in the very, very back of the embassy. We do not, unfortunately, know the password to get into that safe room. It was, some, it was supposed to be impenetrable to any attacking force. And unfortunately, that safeguard is preventing us from extracting her, which is why that will be one piece of information you'll need to gather while on the ground. Now remember, the only people you must extract are Farah, the daughter of the Duke, and her two subordinates. No one else needs to come back alive. I've served in many, many battles. I'm a veteran of many wars. And that's why I see great potential in you three elite soldiers to come out successful. What are your names, soldiers? And what is your special ability? <laughs> <laughs> What's your super move? What's your super move? What's your ult? All right, Nico. My name is Grumsh. I'm the uh, commander of the squad. I'm a seasoned fighter. I've seen many engagements, killed many guys. So what, what race uh, are you? So that's I'm important. a half orc. You're a half I'm orc. I'm a half orc. Half orc? Yeah. So you go. don't care at all about killing your own kind. You have literally no qualms just killing your I don't kind. consider murder. I'm gonna slay them by the drugs. I don't consider murder as my own kind. If I'm, I'm from a tribe that's got their shit together, they're peaceful, we don't have issues, we live in har harmony with the humans. Hence me being a half orc, I've seen the two races come together. Literally. If you murder an innocent orc, I will take your head. But I'm down to go slay anybody who deserves it. You've sworn Doesn't an oath matter. to Greywall. You're Doesn't a soldier matter. in, in, yeah. in Greywall's army, meaning you are sworn to protect Greywall over your, your village, basically. That's, yeah. that's the oath you've made to get here. Yeah, Captain always puts mission first. I'm, I'm, your mission first. It doesn't matter the race. If it's a criminal, I will find what's, them with my What's the name axe. of your village again? Silverbend. 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 Silver and uh, what qualities do the orcs from Silverbend have? Uh, they're excellent river fishers. Uh -huh. What does an orc from Silverbend look like? Uh, grayish purple skin and red hair. His village was suffering from uh, basically a, a drought. The river was low, there weren't any more fish, and they were starving. So he went to a village with a couple other of his friends to try to get some food. In the process, 
uh, they uncovered a vast conspiracy by uh, corrupt officials in that village. Grumsh killed a lot of people there. Since then, he, sw he, he found that the calling for him was justice and to do the right thing and save people and help people. From all the gold that he managed to find um, from all these corrupt officials, he took some of it, went off to battle school, and has since become a trained battle master. Battle so he's, he's an actual- That's all a true story, by the way, because that was actually, yeah. half that's from a D&D game we actually played. Yeah, <laughs> Grumsh has actually been played before. Um, okay. And this is actually his past. He's a continuation. So yeah. he, he's an actual academic uh, soldier. You're, lo and you're level six, so we're all level six starting out, since we're all experienced operatives. Uh, my character is an elf ranger. He's a wood elf ranger. His name is Draenor. So Draenor was trained in the elven, elven military, and then he was recruited by the Moonlight Striders, who are uh, <laughs> exceptional snipers. They are the best of the best in terms of ranged combat and archery. What's the longest distance confirmed kill? Confirmed kill for from Draenor? From the Moonlight Striders. Like what? No, from the Moonlight Striders. From the Moonlight Striders? Yeah, what's the longest distance confirmed um, kill? Confirmed kill, well, Legend has it, that was an 800 meter snipe. Oh, with, with an arrow? Bow? With an arrow. With a bow uh, and arrow? arrow. Dang! Yeah. It was a magical bow and a magical arrow. And Dang, the target. They the metric system? That's like. <laughs> yep, they used the metric system back then. <laughs> Apparently, it was a two man job with someone oh, guiding the cool. arrow and then another guy shot the arrow. Dude, that's super sweet. Yeah. Having like your spotter also guides the arrow yeah, in flight. Yeah, the spotter was like, a, was like a sorcerer. Uh, he is um, ideal for this mission because his favorite enemy is orcs. He's been hunting orcs basically his whole life, and uh, he despises them. The only orc he's ever met that he remotely can stand is Grum, who is his leader. Grumsh. He only calls him Grum. Uh, also half orc. Half orc. That's why we can, I can stand half of you. Um, <laughs> which, uh, and we use that opener <laughs> top at every cop Top bar. half only. Left half? <laughs> top half only. <laughs> um, I... He knows his enemies, he even knows how to speak and understand Orcish. He's been working for Greywall for a couple of years now. He's been on several missions, uh, but I am the long range support. I am basically the sniper of the mission. Interesting. My name is Bunker. I am a uh, rogue halfling, and uh, I don't like to talk about my past very much, but it's, I, I, it's been said that I got into this originally to pay for university. <laughs> but I found myself much, with a lot more aptitude towards this, and so pretty much have moved fully into this, and uh, haven't looked back ever since. Okay, I rock a, uh, a rapier, and I also have a short bow. Um, pretty much, pretty much stealth and kill. I, I don't like any like prolonged combat. Just like to get in there, get it dirty, and uh, get it done. You've been probably waiting for the special gear you're getting. I've got three flashbangs. And flashbangs are thrown into a room. They blind and deafen enemies. Okay. What's the duration? Uh, it's a couple rounds. It's, I'm gonna roll for it. Okay. Mr. Brutus Lancaster. He holds up a small globe. And he says, in here's actually one of my dear friends and he'll help you for reconnaissance. Just throw this ball and wherever it smashes, a spirit will come out and he will float around and obey your commands. If you need it for a reconnaissance or checking something out in an unreachable area, he'll come out and do it for you. What he does after that task is up to him, so there's no getting him back in this damn globe. He agreed, Every, as you guys know, in your contracts, when you die, you get put into these globes and used for missions, okay? <laughs> oh. For reconnaissance. Your spirit is used for one last mission. So we're ghost grenades, basically. It's a ghost yeah. grenade. A ghost okay. will come out, and you get to tell him one thing to do, and he will go check it out for you and report back. Okay. He's ethereal, so that means he can pass through stuff. But then after that, he gets to go to like, after that, ghost he, vacation. He gets, he gets to do whatever the hell he wants to do, oh, whatever okay. ghosts want to do. Whatever the, I don't know what the fuck ghosts get up to, okay. but he'll get up to it. Here, who, who, who's taking the ghost grenade? This has got a ghost inside of it. You should take it, Captain. Yeah, yeah the Captain will take it. He's giving you guys um, one resurrection scroll. For, that was the one thing. I oh, wow. A resurrection mm -hmm. scroll? A straight up resurrection scroll. One. Whoa. We can use anybody. I have, uh, I have some special arrows that I've been crafting. I have uh, two smoke arrows that will fill a small area with smoke on impact. They don't do damage, though. And then I have three incendiary arrows that can light an area on a small area on fire or light a target on fire. I have um, oil flasks, I have caltrops, and uh, I have a 
climbing kit, lock pick, grappling hook, just the necessary usual, uh, just you know my usual kit. This journeyman will teleport you through a portal to Karkal. As you know, Karkal is thousands of kilometers away from here. So if he dies, you are totally screwed. He's already cleared the area, making sure that it's a safe zone. He's gonna drop you off there and he's going to remain stealthily, silently in the area until the mission is complete, in okay. which he will open the port reopen the portal and bring you back. So he's our exfiltration. Okay. Okay. Yeah. With our three. His name's Jeff. Jeff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's a human. He's a human, okay. Do we know what Kaldar looks like? Yes, well he's he's a a, a gilded orc soldier. He's probably he, he is known for his his lust for gold. Okay, so he's All right. the sh blingedest, probably biggest orc there. He's He's definitely going to be blinged out. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. So Jeff waves his magic wand. <laughs> <laughs> like that. And y'all fell apart right here. <laughs> and just a cloud of magical plasma just dissipates into the air. And the portal closes behind you. <laughs> you hear in this empty lot here, in this rubble of where a building used to be. You're on this city street. It's dark, it's like it's towards evening now, like the light is fading. Okay. And if you, you just listen, we just, you just hear, it's just the sound of death is permeating the city right now. Jeff turns to you and says, all right guys, so I just <laughs> teleported you here and I'm gonna cast a spell on myself that's gonna disguise me as an orc, so please uh, do not stab me if you see me and uh, you'll be able to see the orc that I turn into, here we go. And three, two, one, whoa. <laughs> he waves his wand, and his wand ends up turning into what kind of looks to be a large, kind of big knife. And it kind of looks like he's wearing armor. So it's just this giant brutish orc with spikes all over it turns you like, all right guys, do not be alarmed. My name is Jeff. <laughs> I'm here to uh, be your service your journeyman back. So I will be hanging around in this area, acting and uh, sounding like an orc. Please do not be alarmed, but remember, Remember, this is a disguise, okay? Thank Sounds you. Good, Jeff. All right, Jeff, is there like a secret word that we can say and you can say back to us just to make sure you know it's you? Uh, it just, you'll recognize the sound of my voice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know many orcs that sound like that. All right, so with that, I'm going to go and pretend like I am an orc in the city. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he screams and just starts running around and he hides. Okay. Man, Jeff's great. All right, yeah. he's all right. I'm gonna make another peep out here to the right and see if I can see this guy. Okay. 19 plus. Yeah, you look and you see you see a lone orc walking down the street here. All right, everybody He's hide. Walking towards everybody you. Hide, everybody hide. Take cover. He's walking towards you guys. I'm gonna make a stealth check and I'm gonna go stealth. I'm also gonna knock my arrow and I'm gonna crouch down behind the wall. I'm staying right next to. Stealth him. checks. Roll them. Yeah. At 15. Stuff with an 18. The orc is here and he's just like, he's just looking around. He's just, he's just, he's breathing heavily. <clears throat> he's using his nose, trying to sniff out any humans. He doesn't hear or see or smell anything. And he walks past. He's going up down the street now. Just As he walks past, I'm gonna sneak up behind him and give him a little, give him a little stealth attack there with me. Right. So you guys Brandon it? moves up. Cool. Go cool. for it. And since it's a stealth attack, I'm gonna be rolling advantage on this. Great, roll, roll, roll away. You're a 24. That's a hit. Yep, 24, and then I'm going to roll for damage. No. Plus five, 11, and then I also get, for my sneak attack, I get 3d6. 11 plus 10, 12, so 23 damage. That's an instant kill. Your, your rapier goes and, and jangas his spine. It, it takes, presses against one spine, and it pops it out of place, severing his nerve, and instantly goes limp. He falls onto the ground and his dead eyes look at you, like darting around, realizing that he can no longer move his body. And then he slowly starts bleeding out on the cobblestones. Cool. All right. I grab, I grab one arm around there and I motion to someone to help me drag this I'll guy back here because I'm, I'm pretty small. All right, let's lift this guy and let's dump him in a spot. I mean, let's dump him behind this corner here where no one can see him. Yeah. All right. Cool. Boom. <laughs> nice. One down. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm I roll gonna, my sleeve up, by the way, before you do that, D, and I just, I just add one more mark to my arm. There's a lot of marks. <laughs> hey, Bunker, I need you to hit this corner and give me a scope down the street and tell me what you see. Hey, uh, Drano, I need you to go to the other corner and give me a scope of what you see down the street. My name's not Drano. Well, my name's not Grum. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Boys? Yeah. 
yeah. Like we all make fun of each other and get out of each other. All right, so it turns out. you guys are hearing, as uh, instantly you're hearing that a lot of the commotion is definitely coming from the entrance of the embassy. A lot of the <coughs> screaming, a lot of the shouting, all that stuff's coming from that area. So, um, and it's pretty obvious to you where the embassy is. Mm -hmm. So up at that corner, you can see there's a crowd of orcs starting to bang this down here. Um, next to the building, there's a building that has they're been- banging something then? <laughs> they're banging bang, it down. They're banging it down, they're smacking, there's a door here that they're trying to break down. They're all swinging their clubs and axes on it. There's a building here that's next to it, on fire. There's also, um, there's bodies on the street. There's a dead human body just like bleeding out right there on the streets. God. These orcs are oh, just God. slamming on this door. It's like, like, let it run, let it run. And they're like, come out, come out. I have, I have an idea. I have a quick idea. I'm gonna run by you guys before yeah. I do anything. Go for it, yeah. I can use my grappling hook to climb up onto this building. I can run across and try to make it to this rooftop. And then there's a balcony on this side that I can possibly try to get in and see. And there's most likely humans in there, which is why they're trying to break down the place. Um, <clears throat> we're probably gonna have to kill these guys anyways, uh, but at least I'll have high ground on them. I like that idea, but before you move to the other building, let's, you should hop to this roof, snipe from this roof at the four guys there while we go in and see what we can do. I'm gonna try to climb that building and get a high ground right, on well, it. Well, either way, your passive perception, you hear two orcs starting to come down this direction here. Okay. I look over and I, I signal to you guys my hand gestures. I go to let you know there's two orcs coming. <laughs> Sick. <Yeah>. Um, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> and as that's happening, I'm gonna, I guess, try to climb. I'm gonna throw my grappling hook onto the, to the roof and try to climb the building that I'm right in front of, right here, this building. Our dinosaurs. All right, let's take these guys on. <clears throat> so, would you want me to do a strength check to climb? Yeah. Okay. Uh, got a 13 to climb the building. cobblestone is thick. It's you can climb. All right, right and I have a grappling hook too. Yeah. So I climb. It's be really hard for me to stand here. I'm gonna just stand. I'm just gonna be like there. You're perfect, that works. So you get up there, and um, you have I'm a vantage point. I'm also gonna. I'm also gonna be stealthy when I'm up there. So I'm gonna roll stealth. You see uh, these two orcs. Eleven stealth. Okay. Up there on that roof. You are catching also. Here, these two orcs. You you have a pretty good vantage point on them. They, they turn, and they see something and they move towards this area here and they grab something and they pull it and they realize there's a person hiding between the buildings. And they drag him out on the street by his hair. And okay. they pull him out into the middle of the sidewalk and they start laughing, like, ah, we found you, you can't hide from us. And, okay. he's, and they start like wrestling him and throwing him on the ground, smacking him against the stones. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot him with my bow. You should be moving as a squad, we shouldn't be attacking one by one. Well, this guy's gonna die if I don't do anything. <clears throat> In the also, next round, do you think also, I can't hear you. But you just you looked on the street, you climbed the house, you got into place, you saw a new thing. We take one action before we keep going here. I'm gonna move up to the corner of this house so I can see what's going on down the street. He walks up and he starts seeing it, and you come around the corner to see this particular orc here. Raise his axe. Cool. I'm just looking towards you, Nico, waiting for and he's, direction. He's, he's trying when to I get say, a hit on this guy. This one's trying to Mar roll I'm him already over. have my bow drawn. This one's yeah, roll, roll, he's arrow. rolled him over and he's got the axe raised and he's about to slice him. Since they're standing right next to each other, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna use my horde breaker ability and shoot at both of them uh, with my attack. Roll initiative. Uh, okay, sick. All of us. Okay. If you want to be involved with this, I have eleven. Thirteen. Eight. Actually, eight. eight. All right. So this die this die is on the guy who's about to hit the guy, and this one's on the other guy. Okay. Uh, natural 20 on the other guy, and I got a 18 on the foot. Let's just say big guy, small guy, instead of other guy and Okay, guy. big guy. Okay, so I got a, I got an 18 on small guy, I got a nat natty 20 on the uh, big guy. Okay. So I'm gonna roll damage. Here's damage on big guy. <coughs> 12 damage on him. One big crit one. was a 12, yeah. now the other one. Now the other one <coughs> is uh, 11 damage. All right, nice. cool. I have multi-attack too, so I'm gonna use my second attack to attack that guy. This isn't a multi-attack. The reason I got to attack both of them is because I have Horde Breaker. If they're within five feet of each other, I can shoot each of them. Pull two arrows on my bow and release both arrows, and they both hit them, and then I draw a second arrow and shoot at the guy who's about to hack the guy. Uh, this is the roll on that guy. Like a 
20, like a 27. So five, six, seven, eight. Uh, 12 damage on him. So you shoot three arrows, third arrow flies through, murders the guy about to hack him to pieces. The big guy is holding it, looks up and sees you, and he looks to the human and just fucking slams his head into the cobblestones on the ground, dealing him. Uh, he is knocked out and unconscious now. He's okay. at, he's at zero hit point. Damn. And he goes over to here. He starts backtracking here, and yet, and he looks like he's going to start alerting people. Okay. Cool. It's my turn. That's basically the end of my turn. It is your turn, Nico. All right. Okay. Cool. So standing there, and I fire a bolt at the dude. Hmm. Eight. It hits the cobblestone and completely misses. Dang. That's my turn. All right. It's uh, Drano's turn. I'm, I'm going to say I move right here. I can't really stand there, but I'm just going to say I move there just to get better line of sight on him. Unless, yeah. unless we could like pop one of these. Yeah. I'm just going to pop there. Uh, I'm going to use my sharpshooter ability, and I'm going to shoot at him. I get minus five to my hit, but if I hit him, I do a bonus ten damage. Um, I'm going to just say also, by the way, since you're moving around on this roof, uh -huh. um, that chimney is actually there. Uh -huh. um, that ledge you put there wasn't actually there. So okay. you have to roll a climb check to make sure you're, or basically a strength check here to make sure you're not uh, sliding off the roof. They athletics. Okay, I'll do athletics check. Here we go. F thirteen. Uh, I would say that's a fail. It's too slippery for you to fire right now, and you need both hands on the roof to keep yourself from slipping off. Um, okay. So you can move there, uh, but there's no way you're going to shoot unless you want to fall off. Th those are your two options. Stay on the roof or slip off down to the ground. Can I instead just run off the roof and shoot while I'm in, in midair? <laughs> um, it's either that or don't shoot at all. Basically, okay. I would just say, just um, yeah, go for it. Okay, well, how about it's a disadvantage on the roll to shoot the ball. Okay, sure. that sounds more reasonable. Yeah, I'll give you uh, disadvantage. That's fine. Uh, is sharpshooter a feat or a, uh, all right. a feat? Boom. I'm not gonna do sharpshooter. If that's, that's the case. Go for it. I'm just gonna shoot him. There you go. All right. Uh, all right. Goo. That's real bad. I roll a three and a two. All right, those both miss. All right, roll me an acrobatics check of 15 to see if you can roll without taking damage. Okay, acrobatics, here we go. I rolled exactly 15. Perfect, you hit the ground and you don't take any damage. Okay. You also missed the shot completely. <laughs> I land. Okay. So uh, let's go to bunker. I guess I'll just go behind here and go into stealth. Yeah, so I pretty much just use my turn just to, just to move extra and get into stealth. So basically, the orc that you shot with an arrow goes around the corner completely. And combat's over. I think we should all regroup, and then I think we should start moving real fast on these guys. I think we can kill a lot of them before anybody gets alerted. You hear the sound of wood shattering <laughs> and breaking, and the sound of four orcs screaming. And the screams begin to dull as it seems like they're going inside the building. All right, let's take, let's make moves, guys. I think we should get this. So we 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 spend a lot to save this guy right here, sort of. So we should probably try to get some value out of this person that's unconscious, but not. I got I got to deal with what's in this house. This house seems pretty important. Yeah, we can come back to that dude. I mean, the dude's unconscious too. We're just saving his life. He's bleeding out on the street. If you don't save him now, he's going to die. He's unconscious. He's failing his. Uh, um, well, Wait, so you guys want to here, here, combat crit. against everybody? Well, actually, that was a success. Okay. <laughs> he might stabilize. He's like, oh. I think we need to leave that guy right now. We okay. were just trying to save his life. That's the extent of it. We, he, we have no idea if he has valuable information. In that same vein, or just bust into a house and we're going to be murdering people right now if we don't move. So let's move on the house, save some more lives, and keep this up. Because we are the bringers of law and justice here. We're not here to extort people for information. We're here to save lives. So let's do it. I think I should just move up to that door. With your help, you might be able to sneak in from the top to the yeah. balcony. Um, Draenor, what, do you, what would be your preferred method of entry to this house? You want to come go through the back way, where because I'm on the other side of the street. I'm going to walk down the street. I'm going to walk down this way, climb up this way, and then drop down on the balcony right here. Okay, I'm just worried it might be a little slow. You might get caught by... 
I'm quite oh, fast. I am a ha I am a wood elf. Okay. So are those are those dudes there? Do I see those dudes just standing there? Yeah, they're like fucking around with something. They're just dudes. There's like these two little slimy orcs in the distance. They're, they're, they're doing something. You can't quite tell you too far away. They're doing orcs. something. Here. All right, I'm gonna shoot these guys. Uh, I see these two guys right here who are just standing over there. Probably. This is you right now. That's me right there. Um, I'm gonna use horde breaker and shoot both of them. So I knock two arrows and I, I'm gonna shoot them at them. One is a 22, the other hit. one is a 12. Hit, or no, one's a hit, that's it. One's the okay. other, that one's not a hit. Okay. Uh, 10 damage on the one I hit. This guy does, arrow goes into the back of his skull. You see him topple over. You see the other one go. Okay. <laughs> I'm, gonna <use> <laughs> I'm gonna use my bonus action. I'm gonna mark this guy who's who I missed with my hunter's mark, and then I'm going to shoot him with an arrow, with a single arrow. It's a 28. It's his hunter. Seven. 11 damage. They're both hit with arrows. <laughs> They're both freaking out and screaming. And um, you enter initiative. Okay. Uh, a five. This guy turns to you and sees just you. Yeah, because he's hiding down the pillar. And he's like, <laughs> heal me, heal me. And I'm like, I'm an elf, you fuck. He goes over <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And they start going towards you. <laughs> and um, out of nowhere, an arrow flies out of this arrow slit. <laughs> Straight towards you. Someone okay. is in there. Oh, actually, this is so much easier to roll. Does it 12 hit? No. My no. AC is 16. Okay, well, someone in here sees you. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> and you hear, also, you, you hear a ding, 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 ding. You hear someone ringing a bell in here. All right, cool. It's uh, your turn. Are they within five feet of each other? Yeah. <laughs> As they're running, we're going to knock out those two arrows. I'm going to loose both of them. All right, with cool. With a sideways bow. Just You've felt the same. Right. One's 19. The yeah. other one is a... Uh, uh, 14. Hit. Okay. So they both taken damage. The one with the hunter's mark, I'm gonna do... Okay. 12 damage to the one with the hunter's mark. <laughs> and then the other guy... He's mid, he's mid death. I'm gonna do... Uh, uh, 17 damage <laughs> to the guy. So they're running in parallel and they both go and they do like Hollywood like back flops and they're both dead. Nice. What about our guy who's laying there unconscious? Not doing very well. Oh no, is he, am I standing close to him? Yeah, you're about 20 feet away from him. 20 feet away. He's just there bleeding out unconscious on the cobblestones I'm gonna, his head got smashed I'm gonna in. use my move action. Just Can you just place me next to him? Are I'm you, just gonna run up to him and I'm gonna look at him. Just give me, I'm gonna do a perception check. Check um, this fool oh. out. You hear it, ding, 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 and you hear it. Uh, you hear a twelve of an arrow fly out of the arrow slit and land right next to you. <laughs> if, if we're out of initiative, ding, I'm ding, gonna grab him and ding, like drag him into ding, this building. That building on fire. Ding, this building's on fire. There, there, it's, it's, uh, yeah. You like, I would say you could go. You could, you could find a spot that's not on fire, but it would. You won't want to stand there too long. Yo, Grumps moves this corner and he's like, Yo, squad, regroup, get the fuck back here. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> you sound the alarm, get over ding, here. Ding. You hear some thumping. You, to deal with. you hear thumping footsteps. I'm gonna stealthily right. move back into the back. I, bring the guy I'm with gonna, you. I'm gonna drag the guy back to around the ding, corner. I'm gonna drag the guy around the corner. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, I'll come and give you a hand so that All right. since I got plate mail, I can we, we, plate armor. We go and grab the guy who's unconscious. We're gonna drag him back around the corner and try to stabilize him. You bring him down around yep. the corner, and as you guys dip behind, you start to see this large orc and other orcs. They are entering the area here. They, they hear and saw something, so they are coming towards you. You also, as you were leaving, you, those orcs, you heard breaking into the house, you started to hear the screaming of a woman. Okay, Dude, so hard for Grumsh to sit by while it's happening. Um, he might have to just run off and do something about it. 
that's, that's what I've been trying to do up here. No, no. There's the no. guy there. Ah. No. Okay. <laughs> um, All right. So uh, I've put all these toys on the board and I've decided to come up with a story that goes along with them. <laughs> Nico, D, and Brandon will have to join me in that story tonight. Dude, intro done. This is my house. These are my toys. My story. <laughs> my <laughs>